All right, guys, guess what? Today, we're going back to my local maker space, one of the many buildings we have around here. It's kind of the full complex. A lot of bus projects here from people, and we are going to go through into the area with the laser cutters. We've got two large laser cutters. One's a full spectrum and the other one, I forget exactly. There's a full spectrum. This one I believe is officially known as R2. But uh, yeah, so this is our space. Gonna zoom out so you can see here better. We got some 3D printers, some realities there set up. A few different areas. But we are here for these guys. We're gonna use this buddy right here and we're gonna go through and we're gonna try to see if we can cut out some acrylic and not just cut, but honestly, we're just gonna try to laser etch some things. All right, here we are inside. So yeah, we're gonna use this bad boy. We're gonna open this guy up and we're gonna take our acrylic. We got some test acrylic here. I've got just a small piece right now. I've got a bigger sheet also. We're gonna start with this guy though to, to practice and we're gonna go through and we're gonna have that etch um, a, a piece of artwork that we're gonna use on the upper play field. If you remember the upper play field, that section of wood, I'm gonna make that out of clear acrylic. I've got half inch acrylic already um, done by our friends over at Delby's Plastic here locally in Salt Lake City. They went through and cut it out for me. Um, got the holes all drilled for the posts and for the flipper posts and everything. And now what we wanna do is get our piece of artwork. I still gotta get that created and ready and illustrator and all set up to where I can load it into this program and have the laser etcher go through and etch the bottom of that. And the idea is that then we'll go through and we'll um, light from the back edge of that play field, we'll have LEDs shining and lighting, and that that will then, you know, that etching will, all those edges will catch the light and we'll be able to see the artwork um, light up and be all sorts of fun different colors to work with our light show. So that's what we're trying to accomplish today, getting the artwork etched on some sample acrylic. Once we get that working just fine, looking great, then I've got a thicker piece of half inch acrylic that I'm gonna um, do a test cut on. We'll edge light that, we'll make sure that works the way we want before we do it on the final one that's already cut and has a, the drill posts or the, um, the post holes already drilled and, and everything. All right, so just about practicing. So yeah, we'll get to that. So this is the layer I want. I want to duplicate that layer into a new file. Tried it with the, pla the paper peeled off. Try this again. All right. Some of this hard to catch on camera, but there you go. All right, so I am uh, back with my laptop connected to my Nano and I've got my chain of LEDs plugged in right here, a little test chain and I have the half inch acrylic that I etched. All right, what we have coming out of it. So you guys can see that over here. <laughs> anyway, I wanna test the, the edge light it seemed like what I was seeing from the, the light at the place really fast was lighting pretty good, but I want to see how it is with some LEDs right on the edge, see if it lights up any better or not. So we're, we're going to test. Let's, uh, let's turn down some lights in here. There, now we're kind of back here in our dark little cave. So that's what it looks like just like that. And 
this is the smooth side up, the etch side down. And I was worried that maybe I need to like make the etching deeper, but I was looking at one of my kids, little toys. He's got this little like thing from like Naruto, the anime, and it's a real thin like 1 16th inch piece of acrylic that's edge lit. And it's got very, very fine etchings and it catches light just fine. So I don't think I need to etch them any deeper. If anything, I need to etch them, uh, maybe not etch it so deep because this has some, some interesting little artifacts from trying to like go so deep that it's hard to catch on the camera. But like if I look at it from the edge, I can, <laughs> I can see like the different depths of the laser shooting. So it's almost kind of it's got like, it's kind of a cool effect. You can kind of you can really see the depth of the etch going in. Um, it's definitely not just surface level. Anyway, probably way more than what we needed to be, but hey, that's why we got some more acrylic to test with. I might need to have a smaller thing to test with, or else I'm going to burn through this whole thing really fast. Anyway, let's see what we get. All right, so cool term is open. We got it connected. We're going to do RA. What was one of our favorite colors? I always forget what our favorite colors were. Let me look that up real fast. Well, we can always just do red, but there's this blue I really like, 001AFF. There's the blue. Now, like, if we just light it from behind, I wonder how well you can see that. I probably need to get my camera closer. So anyway, I can, I can do this from behind, right? But we know that's not, don't want to blind people through it, right? But if I, where can I set this? <laughs> So there's red. That's working pretty good, right? That's catching the light pretty good. That's just white, obviously the brightest. Oops, RA. What was one of my other fun colors here that I had? Um, let's do a, a, a hard one, a pink. DC, one, four, three, C. This works pretty well. So this is just three lights. It's not very much. And my thought, my thought is that I'll go through and I'll build some simple like little 3D printed brackets that'll hold the lights and kind of like slide on the edge, hopefully fairly low profile. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Maybe a little more from, from below, but anyway, it's, it's gonna kind of have to hold these and then hide these wires. <laughs> I gotta figure out that whole thing, huh? how, I, how I'm gonna route the wires. But we'll figure that out. Here on the sides is going to be interesting as far as for the clearance because at least over here on this right side, I've got that diverter ramp that comes in here. But I can definitely have them across the back. I wonder how well it does if it's just from the back. I kind of feel like I need it from all three sides. Let's change this to just have the lights in the back and see how that looks. So it looks pretty good. You can definitely kind of see where the light's entering. I wonder how many I want to have. There it is with four lights. You can very clearly in the in the camera, I can very clearly see the points of the light. In person, I mean, you can see them, but yeah, no, you can see them. All right, it's going to be kind of down at an angle like that. Play food you're shooting on. I got all these fingerprints on it now. Okay, I want to go through and turn some lights back on because we're not always going to be playing in the dark, right? So it needs to be able to be bright enough to handle during the lights being on. And you still definitely can see it. Still definitely lit up. There's a green. There's a light blue, a cyan, that works just great. Purple, kind of a dark pink. <laughs> looks blue in the camera, doesn't at least in my preview, it, looks, it just looks blue. I'm not sure how well you're getting the colors. But I mean, it's working. And me, I'm trying not to block it, but it's just kind of sitting down here. You can definitely see the hot spots of the lights. But I mean, I'm not, they're not like hot though, they're not overpowering, you just can see where the light's coming in. But I, I think it's gonna work, I think it's gonna look pretty slick. I almost wonder if I need to like maybe add some more to the artwork so it's not just the the angel and you can definitely see the depth of how it's coming through and if you don't look at it straight on you're coming through you're watching the game from the side the angel's all jaggedy like stalactite spiky spiky that's what I'm looking for and kind of loses the the crispness of the image I think I definitely want to try going through and doing it a lot simpler settings and a lot more shallow of an engraving. So I'm gonna go back down the makerspace, get a couple more cuts that are way more shallow. All right, so just got back from the makerspace, ran through and did a little more digging around, 
to understand the software tool they're using. It's one called Lightburn. Um, it's actually got a great community and great support. Um, and I mean, the owners, the, the, the developers, are very actively explaining and sharing things with people also. But anyway, I found some more settings. And so we've gone from these kind of messy, dirty, swag tidy etches, if you can see that, that I said were kind of like really easy to see. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, they're kind of messy to then. We got this guy down here. That's actually probably easiest to see just over here in the, in the black, right? Anyway, look at, look at the difference. Can you see the difference? Maybe look at like the points of the wings over here compared to the points of the wings up here, how much crisper and more clear these are. Now this one I printed a little too close to the edge, like he literally went right to the edge. But again, we're just practicing, right? But anyway, I'm excited. It's just right on the surface now and it, it looks really good. It looks, it looks fairly professional in my opinion. So let's turn some lights on and see how well it's lighting up. All right. Trying to do what I can to see how close, how well you can see it, but this was the one before. Kind of messy and dirty around the wings. Now this is the new one. I've got some reflections going on, sorry, but see how much more crisp this is. So this is pretty much just two LEDs at the bottom. And I've got one on the side here. And if we take the one from the side away, like the light still carries through pretty well. All right, let's do, I don't know, green. And I can look at it from the side. It still looks pretty crisp. Oh, I see just a couple of small stalactites from the side. I might go through and do another practice round with my power, even just a little bit soft. There are a few that are still kind of popping in deeper. But man, it's looking, looking so good. Yeah few points or maybe it's a little bit deeper than what I want, but dang, it's looking good. All right, quick video, playing around with etching on the laser machine with some edge lit LED. I, I think it's gonna be a, just a, an awesome look for that upper play field of the ball rolling around on top of Icarus. I don't know that I'm really gonna put much other artwork in it. We'll see. I've got the final piece of acrylic ready to go and we'll, I don't know. I'll need to, once I kind of get it more like assembled in place with the drop targets and everything in there, we're, I don't know, I'll have to take a look and see if it makes sense to maybe add something else on one of the sides. That's, I don't know, I think that might just be it. Might be just as simple as just the Icarus there, just, just glowing and lighting up. All right, everybody, thanks again so much for, for sticking around and for, for watching all this. It's been a lot of fun and appreciate everybody's support. I want to do a huge shout out to Wisteria, the newest member on Patreon, jumping in and supporting at the multi-ball level. Thank you so much, your support means so much. I really appreciate it and yeah. Good luck to all of you on your own projects. If you haven't started your own pinball machine, why not get on it? If I can do it, anybody can, all right? And it's loads of fun. There's, it's like there's so many different fun things you get to learn along the way. Um, I've never tried to etch acrylic before or do things like that. Anyway, it's, it's not that crazy and it's fun. Lots of good stuff out there to do. All right, everybody, take care. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.